in today's video i'm very very excited to share with you this amazing chat tool that will actually help you show comments or overlay live chat from youtube facebook and twitch at the same time if you are streaming simultaneously on those three platforms or you only live streaming on two platforms at the same time it doesn't matter or even one platform it doesn't matter so let's not take much time let's get into it what's up guys my name is sam live production tips and tools here and welcome to my channel if you're new here make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button and let's navigate the live streaming world together if you want to display comments or overlay your chat in obs from either youtube twitch or facebook either you're streaming simultaneously or you're just using a single platform to live stream usually to be able to do that you actually kind of have to get some paid software like Streamyard, obs melon or vmix or ecom live so many streaming software or platforms out there but the thing is you kind of have to pay money so if you're using obs and you want to be able to have that feature for free within obs then this video is for you we're gonna be using a tool called social stream ninja created by the creator of video ninja his name is steve again so thankful for this guy for everything that he's doing so without taking much time let's get started and see how to get this tool working for you so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a link to the download page right now in my description so all you have to do is just go to that link it's gonna take you to the download page okay so once you click to it, you're going to get to a page that looks like this. By the way, I'm going to put even like download link that you can actually click. When you click to it, it's going to directly download the file. So you don't need to kind of pass through the page. But if you want to pass through the page, this is what you're going to get. Okay. This is Steve, the guy who made the chat too. And you're going to go on the top here. Okay. Code. You're going to go to download uh, the zip file. Okay. So let's go ahead and download it. Okay, so the good thing about this tool, it's actually a Chrome extension. So it's not going to be a problem. Either use a Mac or PC, you're going to be able to use uh, this tool. So once you download it, you're going to get this little file into your download folder. The next thing you have to do, you're going to go to open your Chrome browser, you know, as usual, go to extensions and let's go to manage extension. So once you have access to your extensions, what you're going to do, go to developer mode. OK, so it's important. You have to toggle this. It has to be on developer mode. OK, very important. Once you're there, it's going to give you these options here. Load and pack. OK, click uh, the folder that we downloaded and you should be able to install it. And as you can see now, it's working. OK, it's kind of installed. So this is what it looks like now to be able to use it and be able to actually see it here on the top. As you can see, if I go to my extension icon here, it's right here. OK, so as you can see, it shows up here now to be able to have it already kind of ready for you. You need to click this pin kind of thing. So you're going to be able to pin it right here. You're going to click here. As you can see, the icon is already here and you have two links. The first one is the Dockable Stream Chat link, which is the link that you are going to use uh, to, you know, to be able to see the messages coming in. OK, the second link is the one that is actually going to embed or bring in uh, every single chat. So you're going to see it in a moment in OBS. But for now, we're going to go ahead and actually before we do anything, another very, very important step is to be able to click enable extension. OK, so if it's not enabled, nothing is going to happen. OK, so let's go ahead and click enable extension. And as you can see, it becomes uh, a little green. OK, and what we're going to do, we're going to click the dockable uh, streaming chat link. OK because we're going to need it. This is where we're going to see all the chat coming in. And I'm going to go ahead and go to my Facebook uh, actually live stream. OK, as you can see, this is what it looks like on my page. OK, so this is another very, very important step. You need to click to your Facebook live 
video and go to this little icon that says enlarge okay so you need to enlarge your video okay very important if you don't do this your messages are not going to show up so let's go ahead and click enlarge and as you can see it's already you know i got some messages here already okay but i'm gonna type you know add more messages so let me go ahead and actually send a message uh right now so i just send a message or a chat okay and as you can see all the messages are already there okay boom like magic even the ones that i sent before they are here now that we have all the comments the next step we are going to bring all the comments into obs and actually bring the doc as well so i'm gonna go to obs right now this is my main camera i'm gonna go to my sources and i'm gonna add a browser source and i'm gonna call it social ninja uh, chat something like that or social chat ninja doesn't make a difference and i'm gonna click ok and i'm gonna go back to my extension right here okay so click to the extension and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring the single message overlay link okay just to give you an example before I take to OBS, if I click to it, okay, as you can see, basically what it does, it gives you a transparent background with the message that you choose. So let's go ahead and say, I, if I highlight this message or this comment, and if I go here, you can see it gives you a preview of what the message is going to look like. So basically that's why this does, okay? But personally, I don't really need it here, so I'm gonna need it more uh in obs okay so that's where we're gonna use exactly this link here so let's go ahead and actually click to it and copy the link and gonna go to obs okay and then we're gonna go to our source here the link we're gonna paste it in here okay and we're gonna make it 1920 by 300 you can make it 1920 by 300 400 or 200 really doesn't matter you can still resize it uh, afterwards okay so just to make sure i kind of fix the lower third area in obs and i'm gonna click refresh browser when scene becomes available or active and then click ok as you can see it's showing up here on the top so we're gonna take it down a little bit like here around here this is what it looks like now there's nothing yet we're gonna go ahead and bring in a doc okay because we need to be able to see all the comments within obs you don't want to uh, be toggling between obs and the browser right so let's go back to the extension and we're gonna go to the dockable streaming chat link and click uh, copy so we're gonna copy the link we're gonna go back to obs and we're gonna go ahead and go to view docs and go to custom browser docs so i'm gonna add a new doc we're gonna call it uh social chat ninja i'm gonna paste the link in here and i'm gonna hit apply and as you can see i got the doc i can put it somewhere here uh, so you can put it anywhere in OBS, you know, in any way you want. And if you want, you can go ahead and actually uh, go to Docs and lock uh, UI so to make sure it doesn't move. So now we have the doc in here. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to our chat here and actually uh, start selecting comments and see if we get anything in OBS. And then if I go back to my OBS, you can see I have all the comments available for me, right? I'm gonna go back to Twitch, okay? This is not my page by any means, okay? Basically, what you need to do for you to be able to get the messages, you need to go to the chat settings right here and you're gonna click pop out chat, okay? And as you can see, we should have the pop out or the messages coming in. Minimize this a little bit, move it here. And if I go to my social stream, you can see I got all the messages, okay? So these all the messages coming from Twitch. Now, I was already live streaming on Facebook. That's why you have my Facebook messages. But you can see now I have some Twitch messages coming in, okay? So this is very important. You need to pop out the chat box to be able to see the messages. Now, if I go to my OBS, 
as you can see i'm getting all the messages from twitch right and then for youtube what you need to do is you're gonna go to youtube okay and you're gonna go click to these three dots and click pop out chat okay what's gonna happen is you're gonna get this window we can go ahead and minimize this thing we can go to our extension as well and open it so as you can see it's already here and then we can open the dockable streaming chat so let's go ahead and click to that link and as you can see the message that i just sent to this guy who's live streaming is already here okay so this is the message that i sent and all the messages from twitch are here so now as you can see um i have everything in obs right now i have comments coming from youtube i have comments coming from facebook and I have comments coming from Twitch. So what you need to do is pretty simple. Whenever you want to show a comment, you just click to it. Boom. It's going to show, you know, a comment from Twitch. Boom. It's showing. And then you can show a comment from Facebook. Boom. It's showing. And then you can show a comment from YouTube. Boom. And it's showing. Okay. So what we could do uh, again, if you go to the extension right now, uh, you can go to, you have so many options here. As you can see, you can use the light mode, a uh, high source icon, magnify view. So these are things that you can play with, see how you like it, whatever you want. But mainly I wanted to show you guys that this thing actually does work. And I'm super, super happy and excited about this tool. Again, you can watch another video from Steve where he explains more features that you can do with this little tool. But for me, this is really the basic and it does the job. Just a few points I want you guys to keep in mind. If you use Twitch and YouTube, so simple, you just use the pop out chat function. If you use Facebook, it's a little tricky. The pop out thing does not work. So you need to actually be streaming on your Facebook page or personal Facebook and go to the chat, go to the actual video and enlarge the screen. So that's very, very important. If you don't do that, I tried it before and it did not work. But other than that, man, this thing works really really well and i'm very happy with it so guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful if you have comments suggestions if you have things that don't work feel free to drop some comments down below so i can forward to steve you can also reach him directly it doesn't matter you don't have to pass through me i don't work for him he doesn't even know me so you can always uh, go ahead and send him some messages as well he's very uh, open and he is always looking for feedback to improve this tool make sure you share this video to everyone you know that uses obs because it's going to tell the youtube algorithm that this actually is a helpful video that many people need to see it thank you guys for watching i'll see you on my next one take care